right, everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this summer, it's kind of a poncho style top. That's why it's wider there, um, pretty wide there, like it, um, it shows here. You've seen the pictures of me. So I'm going to show, tell you just a little bit about the construction of it. Um, it's made with a long chain, starts out with a long chain. And the chain it starts uh, from the front, wraps up uh, to your chest over your shoulders, and all the way down your back to uh, to near your bottom. And then that's the, that's the chain. And then it's worked vertically. And then you work two panels the same. And then you sew the panels up in the center, and sew them up in the sides, leave the armholes open. And then later, this brim at the bottom is added on last so you can always make it longer if you want by adding more here you can make it longer by adding more to your beginning chain so like right here is my beginning chain if you want to make it long like this decorative if you want more of this you can make your beginning chain longer i'll give you the multiple or you can just add more length here at the end to make it longer or you can leave it the way it is that's completely up to you it has a v-style neck dip in the neck uh, so it dips V style on the back and the front. This is about eight inch opening. I have eight inches on each side. You can shorten that up also by sewing it together more. The whole thing, uh, I made mine to fit me. I wear size large. Um, it's about 22 inches long and approximately 22, 23 inches, probably 23 inches wide. Remember, remember longer if you want. That is completely up to you. It's not. It, I would call it, uh, it's intermediate because you got to do some sewing, um, sewing up stuff together. But still, beginners, you're welcome to try it. The stitches aren't hard. V-stitches and double crochets, pretty much. Single crochets. But, that's it. You guys want to go ahead and get started? Let me set this to the side. Okay, so like I said, I made size large for me. I do have size uh, large, extra large, and 2X available you need to look in the description box it'll tell you the um, chain count to start with for the sizes um, if you're going to follow along with me in the video i'm making the size large i will tell you a bit about the other sizes but mainly look down in the description box to find out all the, all the information i don't have any other sizes available but it'd be really easy to make them smaller if you just look at the way that i make them bigger i'm sure that you will be able to leave a row off here and there to make it smaller also so, uh, look, yeah, like I said, look in the description box for the sizing information. The, the yarn I use is Lion Brand Low Tide, which is an 81 acrylic and 19 a polyester blend. It is a medium weight number four. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four will work. Um, there's 306 yards per ball, and I used all of three balls almost all i wanted to put fringe on it but i ran out of yarn so you're going to need for a size large you're going to need um about 915 yards i really don't have i played yarn chicken i really don't really have any left and for i would say the extra large you'll probably need 100 more yards and then 2x probably 200 more yards than that just to be safe now if you want to make it longer than mine or add fringe um, or any additive that would need more yarn, of course, you'll have to have more than that. Um, this is not the color I use. The color I use is called Cove, C-O-V-E. It's that pink color. And then um, all sizes is a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so we're gonna start out with one big long chain. So this big long chain is this is the chain that stretches from the from your behind all the way up your back across your shoulders down the front of your chest into your waist so that is the link that's the main part that's the length so you've seen it on me and if you know if you're taller or you want yours to be uh lay longer you want it to be really long you can make your chain longer the multiple of this for the, the chain needs to be a multiple of three that is an odd number so um following following along with me i chained 150 
three stitches. So it's a multiple of three, but it's also an odd number. So uh, you can stitch it longer if you like. It just, you just have to remember that the multiple of three has to be an odd number. If it's an even multiple of three, it's not going to work. So like if you chained 156, it's a multiple of three, but it's an even number. It won't work out. A multiple of three, that's an odd number. Okay, so remember, I chained 153 stitches, if you're following along with me. Now what I'm going to do is do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. So we don't count this one. That's on our hook. So we one, two, three, four. In the fourth one, we're going to double crochet. And now we're going to work across putting one double crochet in every stitch for the entire length of the chain. This is the worst part of the whole pattern, I promise. <laughs> this big long chain. Doing the first row of a big long chain is never fun. But I'm just going to continue working one double in every stitch until I get to the end of my row. Just like that. All right, I have made it to the end of row one. Now I have a total of 151 stitches which includes this chain on the end. You have to count him as a stitch. So counting him, I have 151, and I do encourage you to count um, these long rows. It's nothing more frustrating than losing your count on a long row and having to redo it. So 151 stitches following me is what you should have at the end of row one. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. We are going to put a double crochet right back there into that same very, very first stitch. And now we are going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. So that's what we're going to repeat for the whole row of row two. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip one and double into the next just like that so it makes a little open design chain one skip one double into the next chain one skip one double into the next. So I'm going to repeat the pattern of chain one, skip one, double, all the way to the end of row two. Okay, I've come to the end of row two. I have two stitches left. I just did a double crochet. I want to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the last stitch, which is actually the little chain space there. <clears throat> and that'll in row two. And counting every double crochet and every chain one space, you'll still have 151 stitches. So now we're going to start row three. We're going to chain one and turn. And we are going to double crochet right back here into the very, very first stitch. And we are going to chain one. Then we're going to skip the chain space and double crochet back into the next double crochet. And that's what we're going to repeat for row three. Chain one, skip the next chain space and double crochet in top of the next stitch. Again, chain one, skip the chain space and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the chain space, double crochet into the next stitch. 
Now we're gonna repeat this pattern, chain one, skip the chain one space, and double into the next stitch until we get to the end of row three. And that's what it looks like. We're just keeping our double crochets lined up there. So we'll go ahead and repeat that until you get to the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. I double crocheted there into uh, my second to the last double crochet. I'm going to chain one and double crochet into my last double crochet on the end. And again, if you count every chain one space and every double crochet, you have a total of 151 stitches that you're following my size. Now, we are going to repeat what we just did on row three. We want to repeat that for my size until we get a total of eight rows. And that's starting with row number one. So one, two, three, we're getting ready to start number four. We want to repeat row three uh, for a complete eight rows. Now, if you are doing the next size up, um, the extra large, you'll want to do nine rows. And if you're doing the 2X, you'll want to complete 10 rows. Remember, all that information will be built below for those uh, sizings in the description box. So make sure you check over those so you get it right. But following along with me, large, I'm going to keep repeating row three until I get a total of eight rows done. When I finish out my eighth row, I'll meet back up with you. Okay, so for my size, I have finished my eight rows here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still, uh, you should have the same amount of stitches for your size. Mine would be 151, counting every double crochet and every chain one space. Now, remember, if you did the extra large, you will be on row, uh, you would have just finished row nine, and two X, you would have just finished row 10. Remember in the description box, I encourage you to follow the, along with that, I also encourage you to try it on periodically because every, every woman's body is different just to make sure it's working out for you. So I'm gonna be starting row nine now. Um, so whatever start, whatever uh, size you're making, follow the chart below to decide what row you're starting. So for row nine, for my large size, chain one and turn. And I am going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch. And I'm gonna put a double crochet into the next chain space. And a double crochet into the next double crochet double crochet into the next chain space double crochet into the next double crochet so that's what I'm going to repeat now it's just a row of double crochet it's one double crochet into every chain space this is row nine that I'm on for my size and one double crochet into every double crochet so that's what I'm gonna repeat until I make it to the end of row nine. Double crochet into every double crochet, double crochet right into every chain space. And I'm gonna work this until I get to the end of my row. like that all right I just finished my row nine still have my 151 stitches now we're gonna start making V stitches so for uh, row this will be row 10 for me that I'm starting I'm going to chain one and turn my work So what I'm gonna do is double crochet right here into the very first stitch. Like that. Now what I'm gonna do is skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and I'm gonna V-stitch into the next. So I skip my two and in the next stitch, I'm going to work a V-stitch. So I'm gonna go into it and I'm gonna work one double crochet, a chain of one, 
and then go back in and work another double crochet. That's how we work our V stitches. Double, chain one, double. Now we're going to kind of repeat that. We're going to skip two. So skip, skip, and then the next one we V stitch. So there's double, chain one, and double. Again, we're going to skip two, skip, skip, next one, V stitch. We chain, or double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And this is what we're going to repeat to the end of row 10. Skip two, skip, skip, V stitch into the next. So it's not hard. Skip two, skip, skip, V stitch into the next. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way until I get to the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end of round 10. I did my last V stitches and I have three stitches left. So I'm going to skip two and double crochet into the last. And I should have a total for my size, so it's large, 49 V stitches. If you're doing the extra large, you'll have 51 and two X, you'll have 53. It's important to remember all the measurements are in the bottom. In case I forget to mention it, you can always look at the bottom in the description box. Okay, so now I'm going to be starting for my size. I'm going to be starting um, round 11. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. I am going to double crochet right here into the very first stitch. And now what I'm going to do is put a V stitch in the chain one space of every V stitch. So I'm going to go right to this next V stitch into the chain one space and work a V stitch. So it's going to be a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Now I'll move to my next V stitch and do the same. Right in the chain one space, work another V stitch. Again, next one. And this is what I'm going to repeat now for round 11 that I'm on. One V stitch in the chain one space of every V stitch until I get to the end, until I get to my last V stitch. So it's pretty easy. We're just keeping the V stitches lined up. Just like that. So I'm gonna keep putting a V stitch in the chain one space of every V stitch until I get to the end of my row. All right, I've come to the end. I am on a round for my size, a row 11. I just did my last V stitch in the chain one space of my last V stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and end by double crocheting into the last double crochet. And I should have 49 stitches. So now I'm gonna repeat row 11 for my size, which is large. I will repeat row 11 until I have reached, for size large, a total of 20 rows of these V stitches. Extra large, you should be on row 12 now, and you will repeat for a total of 22 rows. That's starting all the way down. Extra large, you should be on round or row 13 now, and you will repeat for a total and for the 2x, you should be on round 13 now. And you want to repeat for a total of 24 rounds. So remember, remember all that's in the description box. So that's starting from row 1 all the way up. So I'm going to keep repeating for size large until I hit a total of 20 rounds. 20 rows. Extra large, 22. 2x, 24. And I'll meet you guys back up whenever we hit our uh, size that we need to hit. Or the number of rows that we need to hit. 
All right, so I, for my size, have finished my 20 rows total. Remember, that was the size that I'm doing. And you need to um, finish to your size if you're, if you're doing a bigger size than me. Okay, so now what we're going to do for row 21, it's going to be similar, but we're going to be making um, a space for the head. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start right where we left off. We're going to chain one. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my side, we're going to be working V-stitches still in the chain one spaces of the V-stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a double crochet in the first stitch. Now I want to work 13 V-stitches in the chain one space of the next 13 V-stitches. So just like we've been doing, but I want to do 13. So that would be one. And that would be two. And I want to go, keep going until I have worked 13 V stitches for the size large. If you're working the size extra large, you'll want to do 15 V stitches in a row. And if you're working the size 2X, you'll want to do 17 V stitches in a row. So I'm going to continue and I'll meet back up with you whenever we get to the correct amount of V stitches that we need. Okay. I have done my 13 V stitches in a row for large. You should have, remember, you should have 15 for extra large and you should have 17 for a 2X. Now, the next two V stitches are done the same no matter what size you're doing, okay? So no matter what size, these next two V stitches are gonna be worked the same. We're gonna work a V stitch in the next stitch, but it's gonna be a half double crochet V stitch. So we're gonna go half double into the chain one space chain one and then another half double so that was a half double crochet v stitch and then in the next one we are going to do a single crochet v stitch so we're going to go into the v stitch single crochet chain one and single crochet and then we can tie this off and we'll start again on the tie this off here this is going to be kind of the, where we sew it up for the neck, you'll see. Now this is also the same regardless of what size you, you that you're doing. You wanna skip the next 19 V stitches. So we don't count the one that we just worked in. So we start counting on the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Skip 19 and start in the next one which would be the 20th we have not turned our work or anything we just we're still working on the same side we're gonna start our yarn here remember we doesn't matter what size you're doing you skip 19 V stitches start your yarn in the 20th so I'm gonna go ahead and pull my yarn through and I'm gonna start off no matter what size you do you start off with a chain one We're gonna do the same thing we did over there, but we're gonna do it backwards. So now we're gonna start with a single crochet V-stitch. So we chained one, we're gonna go back into that V-stitch and single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. And then we will jump to the next V-stitch and we do the half double crochet V-stitch. So we half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet and now we finish out by doing regular v-stitches until we get to the end you know if uh, you're working on the size large like me I'll have 13 left regular v-stitches I'm just gonna finish them out if you're working on the XL you'll have 15 left and if you're working on the 2x you'll have 17 left so go ahead and finish out your v-stitches here on this row 
we're just doing regular double crochet V stitches in the V stitch spaces until we get to the end. All right, I've made it to the end and I wanna go ahead and end by double crocheting into that last double crochet. We can tie this off now. And what we wanna do, can't find my scissors, I gotta break my yarn, I'm sorry, is uh, make two panels exactly the same. So this is your first panel. Uh, that's what it looks like. It'll look better when we get it sewn together, hopefully, hopefully. We always hope for the best. So we need two panels the exact same. So I have my two panels done and I have one already sewn together. So this is one panel sewn together. I left my armhole here and then this is the seam, nice and clean. So let's go ahead and um, you get your other panel done and then we'll get them sewn together. Okay, now to sew it together, if there's a side that you like better than the other, they both look pretty similar to me, put the right side, say, okay, so I like this side better. Fold it to where the wrong side is facing you. And we're gonna sew it up and leave our armholes. So we're gonna sew it up on this side, our very first row of double crochets, okay? So we're going to start off and we're gonna slip stitch it together. We need to leave an armhole up here. So what I do, what you can do, um, I just kind of slip stitch up. You can try it on as you go, you know, because um, all women's arm sizes are, are different. But for the large size, I, I left about a six inch hole. And I would um, say for the extra large, probably about six and a half. And for the two X um, seven, uh, seven seven and a half it really just really depends on the woman and how loose she wants the armhole to be that's why i suggest you try it on as you go especially the armhole part but i'm going to go ahead here and start at the bottom and show you how you sew up the side so you want to make sure you get the very first stitch on this side and then the very first stitch over here Remember, we're sewing it wrong side out, and then when we flip it inside out, the seam will be on the inside. And we chain one. Now, I'm just going to slip stitch my piece together. So I'm going to go into this next stitch, and then I'm going to go into the next stitch on the back piece and slip stitch. I'm going to go into the next stitch again, and the next stitch on the back piece and slip stitch now i'm gonna do this all the way up until like i said my i'm leaving six inch opening for my armholes for my size but remember every woman's different like i just said i highly recommend you try hitting it on as you go um to get the right size and fit for the armhole you don't want it to be uncomfortable for you so I'm going to continue slip stitching all the way up until I get about six inches. Okay, so I've got my one side sewed up and I made it up to uh, about six inches and I went ahead and tied off. Now you wanna do both, sew both sides the same. Um, after you get done with one side, just make sure you slip stitch the same amount as whenever you figure out you know, your armhole and it fits you comfortably. Make sure you slip stitch your other piece um, the same count. So count your slip stitches and make sure you stitch them up so your armholes are the same size. And then what you want to do is pull them inside out there. Now we got the right side of our work facing us. We have a very nice clean seam, which was what we want. Now we have to sew it together again, but this time I'm going to use a yarn needle and a piece of yarn to do my sewing. Okay, so now we got our two pieces done. So, sewed up on the sides, and we have our armholes made. Now we need to sew up them together on the front. So right here is where we're going to sew them. So from the bottom up until those that single crochet v stitch is where we're going to sew that will be the front of our um of our top 
let's go ahead and flip both pieces wrong side out again. That way the seam isn't so visible. Okay, we got both pieces here and they're both wrong side out. You can see my seam there from before. Now, I'm gonna try to show you here the best that I can. I don't have a lot of work. So these have to be sewed together and then the top has to be, this has to be sewed together like that. And I'm just going to, this and this right here will be the neck hole, it's V-shaped. So um, I'm gonna use a piece of yarn in my yarn needle this time to sew it together. Remember, wrong side, that way the seam is less visible. Now this is just gonna take a little time to make sure you keep your stitches nice and neat so take the top portion of one of the first one and the top portion of the next one and put them together and we're starting at the bottom of the top the bottom of the shirt that's <laughs> less confusing and then we we're gonna sew up until we get to the single crochet v stitch and that's where we'll stop now sewing it together what you want to do is it be as neat as you can. Go through the first stitch on each piece. And now I'm going to be sewing back and forth. I'm not going to be going over and over and over. So I'm going to go back, go through the next stitch on the next piece, on both pieces, and pull through. Nice and neat. Now when you get to a V stitch in the chain one space, go ahead and go into the stitch of the chain one space like that and then into the stitch of the chain one space on the back piece and pull through nice and neat nice just take your time go through the next stitch of both pieces just make sure you're matching your stitches up correctly so this V stitch over here and this V stitch over here, all the stitches get sewed together correctly. So this is the first double crochet of this V stitch. And I wanna make sure that I sew it to the first double crochet on the back V stitch. And again, now I'm at a chain one space. I'm gonna go through that stitch like that and through the stitch on the next chain one space, pull through. Now I'm at my double crochet, last double crochet of that V-stitch. I'm going to go through the top of both of them, pull them through, just like that. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my time and neatly sew up my piece all the way until I get to my single crochet V-stitch that I did. Remember, nice and neat. Take your time. Since this is the, going to be the front of your top, you want to make sure that you have a nice uh, seam. So that always, just want to make sure you take your time. So I'm going to continue sewing until I get up to my single crochet V stitch. Let me flip it over and look at the seam. Yeah, this seam is going to look pretty good as long as we keep it, keep it lined up on the other side. So I'll meet you whenever I get up here to that single crochet V-stitch. Okay, once you get it all the way sewed up here to where your uh, single crochet V-stitch were, you wanna go ahead and kind of weave in your tails and then you want to flip it over and do the other side the same, which I have already done. So this is what it looks like so far and you have your V neck here. Now let's flip it right side out. So that seam, all the seams are on the inside. I got lots of tails to hide, but hey, I'll get through them. So this is what it looks like so far. It's looking pretty good. The seam in the front looks good. This look, we will go around the edges. Um, I'm going to do some work on the bottom now. You could always add, add fringe or something if you wanted to, but I'm gonna make mine a little longer. So, I'm gonna take my, so remember, it's facing right side out now, okay? All of our good seams are facing the right side. The way we want it to look is facing the right side. So, 
I'm going to start just somewhere in the corner. And now this isn't going to be any set amount of stitches. It actually does not matter how many stitches that you have. We're just going to kind of evenly space out single crochets around the bottom the best that we can. I always try to say put two single crochets to every double if you can on the sides of every double if you can but whatever works best for you so I'm just going to start right here in the corner or down the bottom down the seam there so it's not my starting points not so visible okay and then I'm going to chain one now I'm going to work all along uh, the whole bottom around it until I get back to my starting point just evenly spacing out single crochets the best that I can like this remember there's no set way to do it and you and I will probably have different numbers of single crochets when we get back around to the beginning and that's completely fine because it doesn't matter how many you have as long as you did your best to evenly space them out around the bottom so this is what I'm gonna do on the bottom is like I said I try to do two single crochets to every double that's but you know it's not always possible but I do my best some people like to just work through the chain space and, and do a single that's fine I try to weave mine in between the double crochet but you can do whatever works best for you just as long as you're doing your best to get them evenly spaced out it's all you can ask for and this is going to clean up the bottom edge I'm going to actually do some more rows too so first off let's get this row of cleaning up a row of edging on the bottom done of single crochet spacing out the best we can until we get back around to our starting point we're going to go around the whole piece like this on the bottom see now mine is far from perfect but I'm trying my best and that's all you can do so I'm going to continue all the way around my whole piece single crochet evenly spacing them out the best I can until I get right back here to where I started all right I have made it back to my starting point after my going around the whole bottom with single crochet remember I'm not even going to count the number of stitches doesn't matter what we're going to do is end by slip stitching into our first single crochet and now I'm going to go around with um, some rounds of double crochet. So what I'm going to do is chain one, go back into that same stitch and double crochet. And I'm going to work now putting one double crochet in each of those single crochets that we just made all the way around till we get back to the beginning. So this, this is easy, just one double crochet in every stitch around here. We're just putting in every one of those single crochets that we just did. Just making a nice bottom for our, for our top. That sounds funny. <laughs> putting a nice bottom on our top. So I'm going to continue putting one double crochet in every stitch until I make it around to my starting point. Like that okay so what I did is I did around a double crochet and then I slip stitched in my first one first double crochet I chained one and then I did another round of double crochet so I have two rounds of double crochet now I'm gonna go I just ended by slip stitching into my first double crochet now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do one round of single crochet now if you want to do more rounds of double crochet that's fine I'm running out of yarn so I can't but I'm going to go around it now with one 
single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point and then I will top so in with the slip stitch into my first single crochet and then I'll tie that off and then I will hide any remaining tails that I have just like this All right, once you are done hiding your tails, that is it. It's finished. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, remember, you can add fringe to the bottom if you, if you want to. You can add more rows to make it longer, whatever you choose to do. I'm sure it'll look beautiful. Now, if you make this or anything else, um, I would really enjoy seeing a picture of it. You can post pictures on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram and tag me in them, hashtag bag of day crochet, or you can show me on my Facebook page. There's links to both of those in the description box. And also I'm going to put over on the right hand side of the screen, a playlist of all my crochet tutorials, hundreds of them, hundreds. If you, uh, if you get a chance, you can check it over. Maybe you'll find something else that you like and want to make. And until next time, have a good day.